the ATP have actually come out with their own comments on the on the Wimbledon stuff because Wimbledon, of course, um, have banned Russians and Belarusians from playing. Let's go over a read of the statement by the ATP about Wimbledon's banning of Russian players. So this is what the ATP had to say a few hours ago. I've retweeted this if you want to go check it out. They've said, uh, we believe that today's unalit decision by Wimbledon and the LTA to exclude players from Russia and Belarus uh, from this year's British grass court swing is unfair and has the potential to set a damaging precedent for the game. Discrimination based on nationality also constitutes a violation of our agreement with Wimbledon that states that player entry is based solely on ranking. Any course of action in response to this decision will be now will now be assessed. Man, the ATP have come out swinging. They're coming out swinging, saying Wimbledon, you can't do this. You can't base your uh, you can't discriminate against players based on the, where they're from. You know, you can take away their flags, but you can't take away their entry if they're in the top of the tree. So the ATP have come out pretty pretty strong against the LTA, which is the uh, the, the British Tennis Federation, and also against Wimbledon itself. So there's a bit of a uh, there's a bit of a battle between the grand Sl one of the best well, biggest grand slam in the world and of course uh, the ATP who are the men's tennis professionals so things are getting real heated between the organizations at the top man the ATP have come out pretty strong in support of Medvedev and, and you know and all the Russian players and all the Belarusian players Wimbledon though they're going to have to fight there another battle and things are getting real Real interesting. Uh, let me know though in the chat. Let me know in the comments down below if you're watching this video later. What do you think's happening here? Do you think the ATP can uh, persuade Wimbledon to let them back in, let the Russians back in, or is there going to be some crazy things going on between the organizations of tennis?